Hello students, if you are a civil engineer or structural engineer and if you are applying for the post of structural modular or structural designer in multinational company, you should be very strong in basics of structural analysis. So in this series of video lectures, I am going to teach you basics of structural analysis. So today we will see what is determinate and indeterminate structures. So what is determinate and indeterminate structures? You already learned this in second year of your engineering, BTEC or BE. Determinate structures means structures which can be analyzed or structures which can be solved using three conditions of equilibrium. Those structures are called as statically determinate structures. What are the conditions of equilibrium? Those we already learned in engineering mechanics. Conditions of equilibrium are summation of fx equal to 0, summation of fy equal to 0 and summation of moment equal to 0. If you are able to find out the support reactions of any structures using these three equations of equilibrium, then that structure is called as statically determinate structures. For example, if you look at there are beam, pro, beam figures are shown. This is cantilever beam first one then simply supported beam and then overhang beam. In all these three cases, if you look at cantilever beam, there is a fixed support provided at left end and there is no support at the free end. We know that fixed support has three reactions, horizontal reaction, vertical reaction and moment. So there are three support reactions present in the cantilever beam and we have three conditions of equilibrium. It means we can analyze the cantilever beam or we can find out the support reactions using conditions of equilibrium. So it is determinate beam. Similarly, simply supported beam, left support, it is a hinge support which has two reactions and right support is a roller support which has one reaction. So there are three reactions in simply supported beam. So this is also statically determinate. There is one more example is given there are two supports provided simple supports both are roller here but if you even if you replace one support by hinge then there will be two reactions at hinge support and one reaction at roller support it is a overhang beam so some portion is extended beyond the support that's why it is called as overhang beam so there are three reactions at one hinge and one roller support so this is also determinate beam so determinate structures, it means the structures in which reactions of supports can be determined using three conditions of equilibrium. Opposite to that, vice versa, there is a definition of indeterminate structures. When the reactions of supports cannot be analyzed using conditions of equilibrium, then it is called as statically indeterminate structures. Same conditions of equilibrium are applicable to these also. But if you look at the structures, for example, this is fixed beam. Both the ends are fixed. So there are three reactions at left support and three reactions at right support. Right? So total number of unknown reactions in this fixed beam are six. Whereas equations of equilibrium are only three. It means this is statically indeterminate beam. We cannot find out six unknowns by using three equations of equilibrium. So it is statically indeterminate. Similarly, second beam is cantilever with simple support at the end. So if it is a fixed support at left, there are three reactions we know. And at right end, there is a roller support. So one reaction. So total number of reactions in this beam are three plus this one. Total are four. Again, we have three equations of equilibrium. So this beam is also statically indeterminate. Then third case here it is shown continuous beam. So we know that a beam which has more than two span or beam which has three or more than three supports it is called as continuous beam. So total number of supports in this beam are four whereas span are three one two and 3. So this is called as continuous beam. So now if you look at there is a hinge support. So two reactions here and roller support, three roller supports are there. 
so one reaction at each roller support total number of reactions in this beam are five equations of equilibrium available are three so this is also statically indeterminate beam so statically indeterminate structures means structures in which support reactions cannot be analyzed using three conditions of equilibrium those structures are called as statically indeterminate structures we have few more examples of other structures like frame structure if you look at this frame on the left hand side there is a hinge support right hand side there is a roller support it has two columns and one beam right so since there is a one hinge support and one roller support total reactions will be three two at hinge support and one at roller support number of reactions in this frame are three so it is a determinate frame similarly if there is a one column one beam this is roller support one reaction this is hinge support two reaction total number of reactions are three again this is also determinate frame but if you look at the lower figures these are all indeterminate frames so if you look at this two column one beam frame left end is hinge right end is hinge total number of reactions are four equations of equilibrium are only three so this is indeterminate frame similarly this second figure one column one beam but both the ends are fixed so three reactions at this support and three reactions at this support total number of reactions are six equations of equilibrium three so it is also indeterminate now this frame is two bay frame right this is called as first bay and second bay two bay single story frame so there are three fixed supports provided on three columns so total number of unknown reactions will be nine equations of equilibrium are only three so this is also statically indeterminate frame then these are few examples of determinate and indeterminate trusses here we are discussing only statically static indeterminacy externally we are not discussing about internal indeterminacy so we are dealing with only static determinate or indeterminate structures according to the support conditions provided so if you look at these trusses here hinge support and roller support provided at left end and right end this is roller this is hinge okay so these first three examples are simply supported trusses so all three are determinate truss because there is one hinge support and one roller support total number of reactions are 3 2 plus 1 these all reactions are 3 one at roller support and two at hinge support now fourth figure in this is a cantilever truss we know that if it is a cantilever there are three reactions at fixed support but there is no other support provided to this truss so this is also statically determinate and now if you look at the lower figures it is all are indeterminate trusses so two hinge supports here so total reactions will be four so it is indeterminate 4 minus 3 there is indeterminacy of 1 if you look at the second figure there are two roller support one hinge support again total reactions are 4 if you look at this there are three hinge supports provided total number of reactions in this are 6 so these all trusses are statically indeterminate above four trusses are statically determinate because total number of reactions in the truss are 3 only and the last is determinate and indeterminate arches so first left figure is determinate arch that is three hinge arch so two hinge are provided at the supports ends and there is one internal hinge so all of you know that if a internal hinge is provided summation of moment at internal hinge is always equal to 0 so in case of internal hinge we are getting one additional equation along with those three conditions of equilibrium summation of fx equal to 0 that is first condition then summation of fy equal to 0 second condition summation of moment equal to 0 at any point these are the three conditions but along with this three 
there is one more condition we are getting and that is summation of moment at internal hinge is equal to zero if you break the given arch into two parts at internal hinge so in case of internal hinge the total number of equations of equilibrium become four these three plus this one so equations of equilibrium are four and support reactions left hinge right hinge so there are two reactions at left two reactions at right total number of reactions are four equations of equilibrium are also four so this three hinge arch is statically determinate arch it is statically determinate structure but if you look at the other two figures two hinge arch and fix arch so we know that if it is fix arch means three reactions at left support and three reactions at right support total number of reactions are six equations of equilibrium are only three here because there is no internal hinge provided so six minus three it is indeterminate by three unknowns similarly two hinge arch two reactions at left support two reactions at right support there are four reactions minus three equations of equilibrium because there is no internal hinge here also so it is indeterminate by one reaction so two hinge arch and fix arch are the indeterminate structures and three hinge arch is a determinate structures so this is about determinate and indeterminate structures beam frame trusses and arches i hope all of you have understand what is determinate and indeterminate structures in the next lecture we will see these other points of basics of structural analysis thank you thank you very much